Dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to the Taha Faith channel. When it comes to signs of Allah's anger, it is important to remember that Allah is the most merciful and forgiving. However, there are instances mentioned in the Quran and Hadith that indicate certain actions or behaviors that may incur Allah's displeasure. In this video, we will discuss seven actions that make Allah angry. Number one, disobedience to Allah's commands. When people consistently engage in sinful acts and disregard the teachings of Islam, it can be seen as a sign of Allah's anger. Allah says in the Quran, and whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger and transgresses his limits, he will put him into the fire to abide eternally therein, and he will have a humiliating punishment. Surah and Nisa 414 Disobedience to Allah's commands can take many forms, such as lying, cheating, stealing, engaging in illicit relationships, and neglecting one's obligations towards Allah and his creation. These actions not only go against the teachings of Islam but also violate the basic moral principles that are essential for a peaceful and just society. Number 2. Injustice and Oppression Allah dislikes injustice and oppression. When people oppress others, exploit the weak, or deny others their rights, it can be seen as a sign of Allah's anger. In a Sahih Hadith, our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Oppression will be darkness on the day of resurrection. This means that those who oppress others will face punishment on the day of judgment. They will be held accountable for their actions and will have to face the consequences of their oppression. Injustice and oppression can take many forms including physical, emotional, and financial abuse. It is a violation of Allah's commandments to treat others in such a way that causes harm or suffering. Those who oppress others will face severe consequences on the day of judgment. Number 3. Abandoning Prayer Prayer is a fundamental pillar of Islam, and neglecting it can be a sign of Allah's displeasure. Allah says in the Quran, So woe to those who pray but are heedless of their prayer. Abandoning prayer can also have negative effects on a person's mental and emotional well-being. Prayer provides a sense of peace, and tranquility and it helps Muslims cope with the stresses and challenges of daily life. It is a way of seeking comfort and solace in times of difficulty and hardship. Not praying can have severe consequences both in this life and in the hereafter. It is considered a major sin in Islam and can lead to punishment in the grave and in the afterlife. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, the covenant between us and them is prayer, Whoever abandons it has disbelief. Number 4. Breaking family ties. Maintaining good relations with family members is highly emphasized in Islam. Severing family ties or causing discord within the family can be seen as a sign of Allah's anger. In a Sahih Hadith, our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, The person who severs the bond of kinship will not enter paradise. The importance of family in Islam is highlighted in various verses of the Quran, where Allah refers to the family as a source of comfort, love, and support. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him also emphasized the significance of family ties. In numerous hadith stating that the best of you are those who are best to their families, and I am the best among you to my family. Number 5. Arrogance and Pride. Arrogance and pride are traits that Allah dislikes. When people display arrogance and consider themselves superior to others, it can be a sign of Allah's anger. Allah says in the Quran indeed, He does not like the arrogant Surah and Nahal 1623. As Muslims, we are encouraged to be humble and modest. Humility is the cornerstone of Islam, and Allah rewards those who display it. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, No one who has an atom's weight of arrogance in his heart will enter paradise. Sahih Muslim. Number 6. Spreading corruption on earth. Engaging in acts that spread corruption such as dishonesty, bribery, and immorality can be seen as a sign of Allah's anger. Allah says in the Quran, 
and do not cause corruption upon the earth after its reformation. Surah al arf 756 Spreading corruption on earth is a grave sin in Islam and a direct violation of Allah's teachings. As a Muslims, we are called upon to promote justice, equality, and morality in our communities and work towards creating a healthy and a prosperous society. We must strive to avoid any action that contributes to spreading corruption and seek forgiveness for any previous transgressions. Number 7. Neglecting the Quran The Quran is the word of Allah and a source of guidance for Muslims. Neglecting its recitation, understanding, and implementation can be seen as a sign of Allah's displeasure. Allah says in the Quran, then do they not reflect upon the Quran, or are there locks upon their hearts? Surah Muhammad 47-24 This verse highlights the importance of reflecting upon the Quran and understanding its teachings. Allah has given us the Quran as a means of guidance and a source of enlightenment. Neglecting it means turning away from Allah's guidance and wisdom. It is important to note that these signs are not exhaustive and only Allah truly knows the state of a person's heart and their relationship with him. Seeking forgiveness, repentance, and striving to improve oneself are essential in seeking Allah's pleasure. May Allah protect us from things that bring his anger down onto us. May Allah guide us and keep us on the right path. If you liked today's video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Until next time.